Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is September 30th, and we are going to take a look at Palantir stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions, but I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. Okay, so Palantir, well, 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 Palantir is still going down. So we are down 48 cents, uh, that's 1.96% at 2404. Post market, we are up 16 cents. I'll believe it when I see it tomorrow morning. So um, yesterday the stock was uh, laying on this uh, nice channel support that we have been following for a while, well, since uh, May 12th. So uh, this was the channel support and now, now, uh, now this channel has been broken. This support has been broken and we are on our way to 2374. So the big question is, uh, is 2374 going to hold or not? That's the big question that uh, we might have an answer for tomorrow. Uh, let's go briefly on the hour chart uh, to see if there was something interesting here during the day. So. First hour, we break down from the support, try to go back up, open right back above support. So it was still in play at this point. So uh, we could have still went up from there. But then no, flung. we just, uh, we just uh, broke down. Uh, we have a longer wick at the bottom here. Let me make it bigger. So we have a longer week at the bottom here and then a very, very low high here compared to the last candle. Then trying to go back up close to the support. So basically we we confirmed that, uh, that resistance. It was support and it's now resistance and we came back to it. And then we just uh, we just uh, came down, but not exactly as low as the low of the day. So that's the only um, the only consolation price. Let's go back to the daily chart. So uh, yeah, getting very close to twenty three seventy four. So we are uh, twenty five cents away approximately. Let's look at the uh, stochastic here. So stochastic, uh, well, two two point ninety six. So uh, yeah, I'm not surprised, uh, super, super low. Uh, everything is just going down, you know, MACD, DMI, uh, everything is going down. So big question is it, are we going to hold 2374? Uh, I, I would tend to think so. I have no indication. Let me go see here. So I'm gonna do this line here. So uh, basically, this is the steepness of the fall. So the fall is going at this rate right here. I'm just going to start putting this there. And maybe this is where it goes. Uh, I don't like to see it here. So I'm going to put it right here. I'm not too sure about this one because it fits It fits oddly. Yeah, okay, this, this is a little bit better. So, uh, so this is what is happening right now. This is what is happening right now. So uh, if you want to buy at around 23.74, well, uh, yes, of course you can. You can buy it when the stock touches 23.74. But as as what happened here for the support at 25, or also at the support in this channel here, if you buy when the stock touches the support, you can be lucky and the stock goes back up and you've bought at the perfect low. You can be lucky. I've seen people uh, do it and I've done it in the past, but uh, being lucky is one thing and being consistent is another thing. So uh, so what you might want to wait for is a little bit of a bounce. So uh, what I was talking about yesterday is if, if the stock is bouncing on this channel support here, maybe wait until 25. But now that we've gone through this support, we're gonna need to find another bounce. So another bounce would be on 23.74. So uh, if the stock bounces on 23.74, it might go back up here because it's gonna treat this as resistance. It might do something like this. And when it breaks this uh, resistance here, it's gonna mean that the fall has stopped. It does not mean that the stock is going to go up, but uh, it's just going to mean that the fall has stopped and the stock might be going sideways or maybe eventually we'll go 
up. So, um, so one of the first things I would be looking for is a break of this resistance right here. So, uh, so that would be my way of doing it. Uh, if you have other ways of doing it, please share in the comment section below. I don't know everything and I'm always willing to learn. So, uh, so yeah, so need, need to be patient and, uh, to, to be frank, uh, the stock will not break this resistance before uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight days, approximately. So uh, basically, uh, I would tend to forget uh, Palantir for the next uh, seven or eight days if you want to go long. If you want to do other types of strategies, selling covered calls, then you can do it uh, also right now. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, of course. You can become a YouTube member of this channel. You can click on my TradingView affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.